This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 14, Computing Actual Lengths from a Scale Drawing. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Given a scale drawing, students compute the lengths in the actual picture using the scale factor. The essential question is, how can you determine the scale factor when no measurements are given? In Example 1, the distance around the entire small boat is 28.4 units. The larger figure is a scale drawing of a smaller drawing of the boat. When you're working with scale, it's important to know which is the original and which is the scale drawing. So let's go ahead and label that now. The smaller boat is the original. And the larger boat is the scale drawing. We also know that the distance around the boat, or the perimeter of the original boat, is equal to 28.4 units. State the scale factor as a percent. Then use the scale factor to find the distance around the scale drawing. Okay, so first, state the scale factor as a percent. We are going to have to calculate that. Then use the scale factor to find the distance around the scale drawing. So what we're looking for is the perimeter of the scale drawing. In order to calculate the scale factor, you need to know some measurements of the boats. You're going to measure a vertical or a horizontal segment on each of the figures. The reason that you want to use a vertical or a horizontal segment is so that you can count it accurately. Here, I can count this number, 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be difficult to count the length of this segment. Then on the scale drawing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 units. Now keep in mind, it doesn't matter which segment you choose on the figure as long as you use the corresponding segment in the second figure. What I mean by that is I could have used this segment and then on the larger sailboat, I would use the corresponding segment here. Or I could have used this segment and then on the scale drawing, used the corresponding segment. So what's important is that you measure it accurately and that you use corresponding segments. So once you have measured or counted your corresponding lengths, then you're going to calculate your scale factor. That is the length in the scale drawing divided by the length in the original times 100. And that will be stating your scale factor as a percent. Once you know that scale factor, then you will be finding the size of the drawing. That is the scale factor times the original size. So our next step is to calculate the scale factor. The length in the scale drawing so the length in the scale drawing is 11. The length in the original is 4. Then we are told to state that as a percent. So we'll do 11 divided by 4 times 100. And that's going to give us our scale factor. So pause the video and complete the calculation. 11 divided by 4 times 100. We have a scale factor of 275%. Again, step one was to measure. Step two was to calculate the scale factor. Now, our last step is going to be to find the size of the drawing. In order to do that, we take our scale factor and we multiply it by the original size. The scale factor is 275%. The original size is 28.4. So our size of the drawing, size of the drawing, is equal to 275% times the original size, 28.4, is 78.1. So our perimeter is 78.1 units. In this problem, we were given the perimeter of the figure, and we are to find the perimeter of the second figure. Our first step was to measure or count corresponding lengths. Our second step is to calculate the scale factor. 
we take the length and the scale drawing, divide it by the length of the original, and multiply it by 100. Once you know the scale factor, you multiply the scale factor times the original size, and that gives you the size of the drawing. Exercise 1. The length of the longer path is 32.4 units. The shorter path is the scale drawn. Find the length of the shorter path and explain how you arrived at your answer. So just to recap what we've learned, you want to label which is the original and which is the scale drawing. Then you're going to measure either the vertical or the horizontal segment for each. Then you're going to calculate your scale factor. Once you know your scale factor, you're going to multiply it by the length of the longer path to find the length of the shorter path. Pause the video and complete the exercise. Resume the video when you're ready to check your answer. To begin my problem, I label the original and the scale. I have chosen to label the horizontal segment and I have a 6 and 2. Then the length of the original is 32.4. I'm looking for the length of the scale drawing. My next step is to calculate the scale factor. The equation for scale factor is the length in the scale drawing divided by the length in the original times 100. 2 divided by 6 times 100. On my calculator, that gives me 33.3 repeating. Remember to convert that to a fraction. So our scale factor is equal to 33 and 1 third percent. Then our next step is to use the scale factor to calculate the length on the scale drawing. Our equation will be the scale factor times the length on the original is equal to the length in the scale drawing. So we have 33 and 1 third percent times 32.4 and that equals 10.8 units. So the length in our scale drawing is 10.8 units. Next we'll do example 3. Race car number 2 is the scale drawing of race car 1. Go ahead and label that. The measurement from the front of car 1 to the back is 12 feet. while the measurement from the front of car 2 to the back of car 2 is 39 feet. The height of car 1 is 4 feet. Find the scale factor and write an equation to find the height of car 2. Explain what each part of the equation represents in a situation. We'll follow the same procedure. Our first step will be to find the scale factor. Our second step will be to use the scale factor to find the height in the scale drawing. Our scale factor, remember that is equal to a fraction where the numerator is the length in the scale drawing divided by the length in the original and we'll multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percent. The length in the scale drawing is 39. The length in the original drawing is 12. Notice that's an improper fraction, so our answer is going to be more than 100%, which makes sense because our scale drawing is an enlargement. We would expect it to be over 100%. Calculating the answer, 39 divided by 12 times 100. So we have a scale factor that's equal to 325%. We found the scale factor. Our second step is to find the height in our scale drawing. To find the height in our scale drawing, it is the scale factor times the height in the original. Our scale factor is 325%. Multiply that by the height in the original, which is 4 feet. The answer is 13 feet. The 
the steps that we used to solve this problem. First is to find the scale factor. The scale factor is the length in the scale drawing divided by the length in the original times 100. That tells you your scale factor. Your second step is to multiply that scale factor times the height in the original drawing and that tells you the height in the scale drawing. Exercise 2. Determine the scale factor. Write an equation that relates the vertical heights of each drawing to the scale factor. Explain how each equation illustrates this relationship. Okay. So this problem is very similar to the previous that we've solved. We are given the length in the original and the length in the scale drawing. From that, we calculate our scale factor. Once we have our scale factor, we use our scale factor and this horizontal distance to find this horizontal distance. So number one, you're going to calculate your scale factor. Number two, you're going to multiply your scale factor times the original. And let's call that the height. And what we're talking about is just this segment right here that's 1.1 centimeters. And that's going to tell us the corresponding height in the drawing. Drawing one is our original. And drawing two is the scale drawing. Pause the video to complete exercise two. If you're unsure of how to proceed, review the steps in the previous example. Resume when you're ready to check your work. Pause the video to complete exercise two. If you are unsure of how to proceed, review the steps in the previous example. Resume the video when you are ready to check your work. Step one will be to calculate your scale factor. Step two will be to take your scale factor and multiply it by the given length in the original and that will tell you the length in the scale drawing. Our scale factor is equal to the length in the scale drawing over the length in the original. We'll multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percent. So we have 3.3 centimeters and the corresponding segment of 2 in the original times 100. When we divide 3.3 by 2 and multiply by 100, we get 165%. So our scale factor is 165%. And that makes sense because we are making a enlargement. The second step is to take the scale factor of 165% and multiply it by the original segment. So the original segment here is a 1.1 centimeter. When you multiply that by the scale factor, that's going to tell you the length of the segment in the scale drawing. And that answer is 18.15 centimeters. In this lesson you have learned, the scale factor is the number that determines if the scale drawing is an enlargement or a reduction. An enlargement is a scale factor greater than 100% and a reduction is a scale factor less than 100%. Then we found the steps to find the new length or the distance around. The first step is to take the scale drawing length, divide it by the original length, and multiply it by 100. Then once you know the scale factor, you multiply it by the original length or the original perimeter, whatever it is that they've given you, and multiply it. The second step is to take the scale factor and multiply it by the original, and that will tell you the scale drawing length.